Apple Tools 8.56 patches include the full code line delivered at the PeopleSoft major release general availability, plus any changes for each succeeding patch. This session will provide you with a demonstration of the steps to apply the People Tools patch. In this session, we will begin with an overview of People Tools patches and then demonstrate all of the steps necessary to apply the patch using the People Tools DPKs. The major steps involve preparing to apply the patch, deploying the People Tools client, applying the patch to the database, and deploying the mid tier components with customizations. To deploy the mid tier component, it will be necessary to create a customization file. We will cover how to create the PSFT customization.yaml file. We will begin with an overview of the patch process and the use cases for applying a PeopleTools patch. PeopleTools patches deliver fixes between PeopleTools minor releases. The patches are posted to the PeopleSoft PeopleTools patches homepage on my Oracle support as they become available. The doc ID is 206-2712.2. PeopleTools patches are cumulative. They include all fixes for all previous patches for a specified release. For example, O3 contains all the fixes contained in O2, as well as all of those contained in the O1 patch. In prior releases, PeopleSoft PeopleTools patches included only the cumulative changes made for the patches. All PeopleSoft PeopleTools 8.56 patches include the full code line delivered at the PeopleTools major release general availability date, plus any changes for each succeeding patch. Change Assistant provides an automated process to apply database changes for each PeopleTools patch via a cumulative PTP package. There are three use cases for applying a PeopleTools patch. You will always need to install a new PS Home for the new release. However, you can decide which other components to replace or retain. For use case one, you have selected to install a new PS Home, Oracle WebLogic, Oracle Tuxedo, and Oracle Client. For this use case, you will need to stop and delete all domains, update the site PP and run the cleanup. The cleanup will remove PS Home, Oracle WebLogic, Oracle Tuxedo, and Oracle Client. You will then download and deploy the new PeopleTools patch. Apply the patch to the database and then deploy and configure the middle tier for the new release. The middle tier deployment will require customizations. For a PeopleTools patch, you will always need to install a new PS Home. If you want to keep your existing Oracle WebLogic, Oracle Tuxedo, and Oracle Client, then the location of each component must be specified in the psft.yaml file. Use Case 3 is similar to Use Case 2. The only difference will be which components to keep. The psftcustomizations.yaml file will contain the locations of the components to retain. In this session, we will review and demonstrate each of the tasks necessary to apply a PeopleTools patch to your environment. First, we will look at the tasks necessary to prepare for deployment. These tasks include downloading the PeopleTools patch from my Oracle support, stopping and deleting the domains on the initial environment, updating the site PP for use case one only, and removing the existing environment for use case one only. PeopleTools patches are posted to the PeopleSoft PeopleTools homepage, doc ID 206-2712.2 when they become available. You will download the patch files to a local DPK directory, such as c colon backslash dptools 8.56.04. From the PeopleSoft PeopleTools Patches homepage, select the PeopleTools 8.56 Patches tab and select your operating system. 
For this demo, we are using Windows. Expand the People Tools Patches link to view the patches available. The three most recent patches are available from this page. Click the Patch Set Number link for the patch you want to download. Select to download the patch. People Tools patches consist of four People Tools DPK zip files. Download the files to a local directory. The first zip file contains a setup folder with the scripts needed to automate the deployment process. The other files are double zipped. There are two PeopleSoft PeopleTools server DPKs and one for the PeopleTools client. The next step is to stop and delete the domains on the initial environment. Since this demo is on Windows, we will also stop the domain services. Before we stop and delete the domains, let's take a look at our current environment. PeopleTools 8.5601 was installed in the PSFT directory. The PT directory includes the PS App Home. WebLogic and Tuxedo were installed in the BEA directory. JDK was installed in JDK 1.8.0 underscore 131. The database location is Oracle slash DB. This includes the Oracle server and the Oracle client. The PS config home is demo home underscore CFG. We also have a shortcut on the desktop to start PIA for HR92 demo. Based on this environment, we will be using use case 2, which means we will install a new PS Home and keep the existing Oracle WebLogic, Oracle Tuxedo, and Oracle Client. First, we will stop and delete the domains. Use PS Admin to stop and delete the initial domains. Our current environment is on PeopleTools 8.56.01. The application server is HR92Demo. We will shut down the application server and then delete it. Next, we will shut down and delete the process scheduler server. The process scheduler server in our environment is PRCS DEMO. We also need to shut down and delete the web server. The web server for this environment is PeopleSoft.
When all of the domains have been shut down and deleted, close PS Admin. Next, we will open the Services window and stop the Application Server Service, Web Server Service, and Process Scheduler Service for the initial domains. The service names will start with PSFT. For the application server, we will stop the service HR92Demo. For the web server, we will stop the service for PeopleSoft. And for the process scheduler, we will stop the service for PRCSDemo. As previously mentioned, this demo is for use case 2. We have successfully downloaded the PeopleTools patch, stopped and deleted the initial domains, and stopped the services. If you are using use case 1, that is installing a new PS Home, Oracle WebLogic, Oracle Tuxedo, and Oracle Client, there are two additional steps. To update the site PP file, Open the site PP file that is located in the base directory, DPK Puppet Production Manifest. Verify that the file includes PT Tools Deployment. Save the file and close. For use case 1, you also need to remove the initial environment. If you retain the downloaded DPKs in the original location, Go to the downloaded location, setup directory, and run the cleanup command. The cleanup commands for Windows and Linux are shown here. If you did not retain the original downloaded DPKs, use the puppet apply command or manual methods to remove the existing deployed components. The next step is to deploy the PeopleTools client for the patch. The fourth zip file contains the PeopleTools client. You will extract the fourth zip file, then extract the resulting file to a local or shared directory, for example, C colon tools client. This directory will contain the setup ptclient.bat file which is used to deploy the PeopleTools client. Navigate to your PeopleTools DPK directory and extract the fourth PeopleTools file. The resulting zip is the PeopleTools client zip. Extract this zip to a tools client folder. We'll use tools-client. The tools client folder contains the setup ptclient.bat, which we will use to deploy the PeopleTools client. Open a command window as administrator. Change the directory to your tools client directory. Enter setup ptclient.bat-t. At the prompt, do you want to deploy PeopleTools client? Enter Y. Select your database platform. We have an Oracle database, so we'll enter 1. For the PS Home location, you can accept the default or enter the path to install the PeopleTools client home. We will accept the default location. You can select whether or not to configure the PeopleTools client. We will answer Y, yes. If you answered Y, you will need to supply the database and connect information. Note that when you enter the password, the script does not echo the password or any masking characters as you type. For the PeopleTools deployment, select 2, PeopleTools Patch.
You need to deploy Change Assistant for the People Tools patch, so we'll enter Y. You can accept the default location for Change Assistant or enter a location to install Change Assistant. We will install in C colon backslash CA. We will not install Change Impact Analyzer. We will not install or configure PeopleSoft Test Framework. The deployment will start and you will see messages as the client and change assistant are deployed. When the PeopleTools client is deployed, you will get a message to configure change assistant, as well as a message to review the deployment log. We can see the new PeopleTools client was added in PT 8.5604 underscore client underscore aura. The change package for the patch is located in the new PeopleSoft Home PTP directory. Change Assistant is installed and a shortcut is added to the desktop. You will use Change Assistant to apply the patch to the database. Launch Change Assistant from the desktop icon. Click Next on the Welcome page. The default action is Update Manager, so click Next. On the General Options page, you will enter the default path information for Change Assistant. PS Home is the new release PeopleTools Client Home that was just installed. You will need to create directories for staging, output, and downloads. Also enter the path to the SQL Query tool. Once the values are entered, click Next. You do not need to add any additional information in order to apply a PeopleTools patch, so click Finish. To apply the patch, select Tools, Apply PeopleTools Patch. The Change Package setting page is Read Only. PUM source is not used for a patch, therefore it will indicate Not Set. The download directory is the target PS Home PTP directory. A patch is always applied as move to production, so we can click Next. On the Select Target Database page, you will select the database where you want to apply the patch. If the database has not been defined to Change Assistant, you will need to use the Create button to define the database in Change Assistant. In this example, we need to define the database. Enter the database name, user ID and password, access ID and password, as well as the connect ID and password. The current homes and SQR settings are populated from the general settings. Click Next. Change Assistant will test the connection and query the database. Additional database details will be displayed. You can click Next. The Confirm Settings page displays an environment summary for your database. Click Finish. You are then returned to the Select Target Database page. Click Next to connect to the database. The Select People Tools Patch to Apply page displays the patch information. In this example, the database is on 85601 and we will apply People Tools Patch 85604. 
The PTP package contains only the database changes for this patch. Click Next. Change Assistant will perform a compatibility check. If all of the compatibility checks pass, click Next. The summary page is displayed. Click Finish to start the apply. The change package is created and then automatically starts applying the patch. When all of the steps are complete, you will receive a message that there are no more steps to run. Click OK and exit Change Assistant. Your patch has been applied to your database. Once the patch has been applied to the database, you will deploy the mid-tier components for the new release. You will need to use a customization file to identify the location of existing components that you want to retain, as well as identifying the PS App Home directory. The mid-tier option performs the following. It installs the software required for the middle-tier components, including Oracle Tuxedo, Oracle WebLogic, and Oracle Database Client. It deploys and sets up domains for the middle tiers, application server, web server, process scheduler, and Oracle database client. It also installs the new PS home directory. To deploy the middle tier, extract the first downloaded PeopleTools DPK zip file in your new PeopleTools DPK directory. The extraction creates the setup folder and other files. Use the setup command with the mid-tier option. On Microsoft Windows, open a command window with Run as Administrator, go to the new PeopleTools DPK directory slash setup, and run the setup command with the mid-tier option as shown here. On Linux, open a terminal window as root, go to the PeopleTools DPK directory slash setup, and run the command as Administrator as shown here. First, we will extract the first PeopleTools zip. The setup folder is created, which contains the setup script. In Windows, we will open a command window as administrator. Change the directory to the install directory setup, and then enter the command to set up middle tier. psft-dpk-setup.bat-environment-type-mid-tier. Setup will locate the valid PeopleSoft zip files and extract them. It will also verify if Puppet is installed and check if the PeopleSoft DPKs are present. When prompted for a PeopleSoft base folder, enter the folder where you want to deploy the new installation home directory. We will install in the patch directory on the C drive. When entering pass in the setup script, you want to use forward slashes. If you are happy with the base folder location, 
accept the default yes. Status messages will appear as a script validates the files, extracts the archives from the DPKs, and sets up the Puppet file system. The script will prompt for the database information. If default values are displayed, usually in square brackets, you may accept the default values by pressing Enter. For this example, the database platform is Oracle, the database is Unicode, the database is HR92DEMO, We will enter the additional database information, database service name, database host name, database port, database connect ID, and password. You will then be prompted if you want to update the user passwords in the database. We'll accept the default N. The script will then prompt for PeopleSoft Database Operator ID and PeopleSoft Database Operator ID Password. The Application Server Domain Connection Password is optional. We are not entering a password. You will also enter the password for PT Web Server Web Profile. You will also enter Oracle Web Logic Server Admin Password. Enter the Integration Gateway User ID and Password. At the prompt, are you happy with your answers? Answer Y if your responses are correct. If you made a mistake, answer N and the prompts will be repeated. The passwords will then be encrypted. When prompted if you want to continue with the default installation process, answer N. Leave the command window open as you will need to return to the command window to complete the installation after creating the customization file. You will need to create a customization file to indicate your PS app home and the location of any of the existing components. The setup script updated the YAML files in the base directory, DPK, Puppet, Production, Data. The PSFT deployment.yaml file provides options for deployment components, such as installation locations for Oracle Tuxedo and the Oracle database client. The PSFT configuration.yaml file lists the attributes pertinent to the PeopleSoft domains. The PSFT deployment.yaml file contains the base folder that was entered in the setup script, as well as the database platform, Unicode, database type, and install type. The locations for the components are the default locations for a new installation. Let's take a closer look at the PSFT deployment.yaml file. The parameters in the delivered YAML files are written with HERA interpolation tokens that act as variables. In this example, the people tools location is C colon backslash patch slash PT. The hierarchy and alignment of the YAML files are very important to the correct operation. The YAML file includes both scalar type and collection type parameters. Scalar parameters are in the form key colon value. For example, DB underscore platform colon Oracle. Collection type parameters include a parameter name followed by one or more indented list of Q 
key colon value pairs. In this case, the value of the collection parameter is defined by the indented list of values, for example, PS Home. The PSFT configuration.yaml file lists the attributes for the domains. Attributes include the default values, application server section, process scheduler section, and PS section. Let's take a closer look at the PSFT configuration file. We can see the values that were populated from the setup script. We also see the default values. If your environment requires specific names for application, server, domain name, and port, or any other domain specifications, you need to create a customization file and provide the defaults. To create the customization file, use a standard editing tool such as Notepad on Microsoft Windows or VI on Linux. The first line in the PSFT customizations.yaml file must start with three dashes. Copy the sections that you want to customize from PSFT configuration or PSFT deployment files into the PSFT customization.yaml file and modify the values as needed. Save the file in the same directory, which will be your base directory, DPK, production, puppet, data. For the environment in this demo, we want to use the existing component locations as shown in this slide. We also want to configure the domains with the same names as the initial PeopleTools environment. This includes values for the application server, process scheduler server, and PIA as shown in this slide. First, we will open the PSFT deployment.yaml file. Since we are working on a Windows system, we will create our customizations file in Notepad. The file must begin with three dashes. Based on our environment requirements, we will copy the DB location. We also need to copy the Oracle client location, JDK, WebLogic, and Tuxedo locations. We also need the collections for those locations. Once we've copied the locations, we will need to change the values to the locations where the components are already installed. All paths in the YAML file must use forward slashes. Now that the component location files have been added, we will save the file as pstcustomizations.yaml in the same folder as the other YAML files. We still need to add our domain attribute customizations, so we'll close the deployment file and open the PSFT configuration.yaml file.
Based on our environment requirements, we want to specify the location for PS Config Home and PS App Home. We will copy the PS Config Home from the configuration file into our customization file and change the value. We also need to add PS App Home. Since this was a People Tools deployment, PS App Home is not included in the PSFT configurations file. It is only included when you do a full tier deployment. We also specified domain values for our environment. In the configuration file, we will copy these lines into our customization file. Once they are copied, we will provide the values we want to use. We also specified that we need to change the PIA server list and the PIA host name. Some parameters use factor, which is part of the Puppet implementation to discover variables. An example of this is the PIA host name. The factor FQDN returns the fully qualified domain name of the system. For our demo, we need to use a different host name. Once all of the values are entered, save the file. Before closing the PSFT configuration.yaml file, let's just look at the sections. The application server section starts with app server underscore domain underscore list. For our environment, we do not have to make any changes in this section. However, if you want to change any of the values, such as min or max instances or feature settings, you would have to copy the entire section into your customization file and then change the value. The process scheduler domain starts with PRCS underscore domain underscore list. The PIA domain starts with PIA underscore domain underscore list. The PSFT configuration file also contains the ACM plugins to configure your environment. This includes integration broker, process scheduler, and web profile. As we were reviewing the file, we noticed the help URI was using 855, so we will also change that value. We will save the customization file and then close both files. Now we are ready to complete the mid-tier deployment. The commands are displayed in the command window. We will copy these commands to Notepad.
In Notepad, we will remove the numbers. We will also need to remove the line feed. For the Puppet Apply command, we will add a log directory. The parameter is dash dash log dest. We will copy the first line to change the directory, and then we'll copy and paste the puppet apply command. Because we specified a log file, the script will not echo anything in the command prompt. This will take about 10 minutes. The command prompt will appear when the deployment is complete. We can now log on to PIA to verify our deployment. We can check the report node and the server in Process Scheduler. We specified the report node as training. We also specified the process scheduler server PSNT. We can also check that Integration Broker was configured. If you are using Use Case 1, the only value you need to include in your PSFT customizations.yaml file is PS App Home Location, as shown here. Oracle WebLogic, Oracle Tuxedo, and Oracle Client will be installed in the default location indicated in the PSFT deployment.yaml file. If you are using Use Case 3, your PSFT customizations.yaml file will include PS App Home Location and the components you want to retain. In this example, you have chosen to retain Oracle Client and install new Oracle WebLogic and Oracle Tuxedo. Your Oracle Client is currently installed in the Oracle directory on the C drive. Additional resources for applying PeopleTools patches include the PeopleSoft PeopleTools patch homepage, the PeopleSoft PeopleTools 8.56 Deployment Packages Installation Guide, Appendix B, Applying PeopleTools Patches Using DPKs. For more information on Change Assistant, refer to the PeopleSoft Online Help Change Assistant and Update Manager. There is also a two-day OU course, PeopleSoft Deployment Packages, RHEL 8.56, which covers applying PeopleTools patches, as well as installing PeopleSoft applications using DPKs, deploying PeopleTools deployment packages, customizing a PeopleSoft environment, installing, configuring, and managing Elasticsearch. Also check the Spotlight Series page for additional Spotlight Series videos on DPK.